You know what, ladies and gentlemen? They should put a, I don't even know if New York City has a C train. They do. They should put a C train, not a G train, because we're taking your calls. Get it? All right, 877 Newsmax is the number, as you well know. We are the only place that you could come and share your views on the air in prime time with the host, that's me, and everybody else in the Newsmax TV listening audience. Let's go first to Pete from Brooksville, Florida. Hi, Pete. Steve, you there? I am here, sir. All right. Hey, um, thanks for taking my call. Thanks for participating. Uh, yesterday... yeah. Yeah, you've got a great show. Thank you, sir. Anyway, uh, yesterday you mentioned Huma Abedin. Yes. Apparently she is the chief def deputy chief of staff on Hillary's uh, payroll. Well, she's her right-hand girl, has been for 20 years. Yeah, and she's Mrs. That's, Anthony Weiner, by the way. Yes. That That's correct. She also is the editor or assistant editor of the Journal of Muslim Minority Affairs, who was founded by a guy named Nassif. He's known to have financed bin Laden and Al-Qaeda. Well, I'm going to have to check that out. I know, she's a, I know she's Muslim. I know her family. There have been accusations that her mother had, uh, and her parents had close ties to the Muslim Brotherhood and the Muslim Sisterhood. And when people like Michelle Bachman and others tried to bring that up on the floor of the Congress, John McCain went to the floor and said, this is not American. So I, I believe that we do need to look into uh, anybody's background who we believe to be suspect and family ties that might be suspect. I don't know about the specifics you're talking about, but I will now look into that and, uh, and see what we could find, Pete. But I thank you very, very much for calling, sir. Uh, next we go to Camden, Ohio. And say hello to Doreen. Hi, Doreen. Hi, Steve. How you doing? I'm well. Thanks for uh, participating today. Um, love your show. Just got just got hooked on it about a, uh, about a month ago. Thank you. Uh, you're my you're my favorite. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I just wanted to say about this Paul Ryan thing. I was so I am so angry over them not backing Trump. I I just don't get it. Is it, I'm coming to the conclusion that all the men. In the Republic, the GOP, the establishment, they've been neutered. I just want to let you know that. Well, I don't know if they've been neutered. I think, I, I mean, I understand. I think men, there's an attempt to neuter men in every aspect of society. You know, it's funny you say that. And I know this is off the beaten path, but one of my favorite shows to watch the reruns of is Everyone Loves Raymond. And how many times does his wife in the show call him an idiot, a jerk, a moron? You know, he doesn't call her that. So you're right. I mean, men are under attack in, uh, all around. But, but as far as the, 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 the leadership of the Republican Party, they're not being neutered. They, 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 I, this is what they believe. This is what, who they are. We've been fooled. I mean, Paul Ryan on immigration, on this Muslim issue, and on so many other issues is more in line on trade with Hillary Clinton than he is with, with uh, the conservative movement. I'm just, I'm just totally upset because I voted for Trump out here in Ohio. And you know what? Like you said, they are not listening to what the people want. They need to get on the bandwagon. Well, I agree with you, Doreen. I and really also, do. I just want to let you know, we'll not be voting. I would not never vote for Hillary. No. Ever. No, but, ever, but and what ever. people need to understand, Doreen, and you could tell your friends who say, I'm not voting for Trump. I was a cruise guy or I was there. I'm staying home. If you stay home. Or if you vote for a third party, you're voting for Hillary. That's what we have to make clear. Everybody I know voted for Trump, so I have good. A very good. <laughs> All right, Doreen, <laughs> you take care. Thanks for, for for participating today. Let's go to Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, specifically, and say hello to Gus. Hello, Gus. Steve, how are you? Great show, pal. Thank Hard you. Hard hitting and to the point. I love it. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. First of all, bad house speaker Paul Ryan. You know he's evil. I mean, look at his Eddie Munster haircut. What's that tell you? You know? Need I say any more? And he's flip-flop with Trump. Makes no sense. He's got to back him. Hillary Clinton, she should have a lie detector attached to her 24-7 to give her a shock every time she lies. You know, she's using the old uh, women's card, the race card. It's just going to divide the nation, not help the nation. You know? And then people in the country have spoken at the ballot box. They want Trump. They don't want establishment. The Republicans in D.C. have done nothing for eight years. Technically, they're on a the waffle. They're welfare recipients. 
They get money, they get all the perks, but do absolutely nothing. They let Obama do whatever he wants without any regard to the Constitution. The people in the country are special, not the politicians. They're just our voice. Our millions of people in this country are the special ones, and they better remember that when it comes time. Well, Gus, very, very well said from the city of brotherly love. Thank you for checking in, sir. Appreciate the kind words at the beginning as well. Yes. Take Good care. Show, Thank you. I'll keep watching. Thank you. I appreciate that. Spread Except the word. Fly. I'm a Vietnam ah, vet. God bless you. Thank you. Purple for heart, everything. Thank you. Well, you're going to love our next segment. Medal of Honor recipient, Clinton Romache. Great new book, too. Don't miss it.